welcome everyone to today's session on uh, wedge friction like share subscribe press bell button for latest updates let us move on to next example example number 3 a 10 degree wedge is used to split a section of a log. Full stop. The coefficient of static friction between the wedge and the log is 0.3. Full stop. Knowing that a force P of magnitude 750 Newton was required to insert the wedge, determine the magnitude of the forces exerted on the wood by the wedge after insertion. So you can read the problem one more time. This is the given. Uh, sharp chisel wedge which is having 10 degree as the angle the quotient of friction between the two surfaces the wedge and the log this is the wooden log is 0.3 actually in order to split this wooden log there is a force p of magnitude 750 newton is necessary so here we need to determine the magnitude of forces which are exerted by the the insertion of the wedge on the log so that is what we need to determine in this problem okay so let us now uh, experience how or visualize how uh, the wooden uh, log will be split uh, using uh, this wedge so let us assume some person is hitting this uh, uh, chisel wedge like this Right, so by using this uh, uh, the hammer, he is hitting. So, and you can you have observed that the uh, wooden log has split into two pieces with the help of the hammer. The force uh, uh, applied by using this hammer was 750 newton total force. Okay, that's how it has been splitted, split into two pieces. Now let us see. Let us draw the free body diagram of this and. Um, you know continue solving the problem so this is the uh, the log which is there and uh, you will be applying a, a force p on to the wedge chisel chisel wedge and uh, as it goes to downwards as as it goes downwards so the friction force will be acting on the chisel upwards so on opposite to that there will be friction force acting uh, downwards on the uh, the the log and uh, as usual there will be normal reaction which will be acting on the uh, wedge right and equal and opposite force of normal reaction will also be acting on the log okay now let us uh, you know consider the wedge only okay so as you can see here if you consider the wedge only so the friction forces are acting upwards whereas the normal reaction towards inwards this is the angle 10 degree the wedge okay chisel now let us consider the free body diagram of the wedge okay so in order to apply the equations of equilibrium um, we always need the angles made by these inclined forces because in, if you want to calculate sigma fx and sigma fy so we need uh, to resolve those inclined forces so summation of all the horizontal components of those inclined forces and other forces will be sigma fx which is should be equal to zero to maintain in, maintain equilibrium so now let us construct uh, uh, some lines here construct ge certain geometry and we know that as uh, the wedge angle half angle is 5 degree as you can see here so the total angle is 10 degree so the half angle will be 5 degree therefore the remaining angle 90 minus 5 degree will become 85 degree here so similarly on the other side also 85 degree will be there now in order to calculate sigma fx and sigma fy equal to zero these are the two inclined forces we should know the angle of these forces okay and we know um, then then let us uh, construct a few more geometry and if you construct a line like this you extend the line and draw a horizontal line like this like this and uh, you can see these are the two equal angles Th this angle will be equal to this so therefore 85 degree will be this so the remaining angle and because this is a right angle triangle remaining angle will be 5 degree so similarly on the other side also you will get uh, 5 degree as the four, the angle for nc and 85 degree as the angle for fc 
Now apply equations of equilibrium. Let us first consider sigma f x equal to zero. If you consider sigma f x is equal to zero, what are the forces which will be coming to uh, that horizontal components? So that's nothing but N C will be there. Another N C F C F C. So let us consider that. Okay. First of all. The left hand side NC, if you consider, so the horizontal component will be acting towards right, so positive NC, cos 5 degree. Next, the right hand side NC will be acting towards left, that's horizontal component, so minus NC, cos 5 degree. The next, right hand side FC will be acting towards right, so plus FC, cos 85. The next one, the left hand side will go to the left hand side, so minus fc cos 85 degree okay and as you can see here these these two forces are equal to these two forces hence they will cancel out in case of sigma fx so all terms will get cancelled right next consider sigma f y is equal to zero summation of vertical forces okay now as you can see left hand side nc will the vertical component will act upwards so positive Right hand side NC force will act upwards again, it is positive. That's NC sine 5, 5 degree because the angle made by NC is only 5 degree. Therefore, NC sine 5 degree is acting upwards. Next, FC forces. If you consider the right hand side FC, that is acting upwards. So, FC sine 85. And the left hand side NC, FC is also acting upwards. And um, that is FC sine 85. The angle is 85. So, FC sine 85. Those are all the forces which are there. Is there anything else which is left out? That's nothing but 750 Newton. 750 Newton will be acting downwards. Whereas all other forces are acting upwards. The only weight is acting upwards. I mean downwards. Okay. Now uh, simplify this upon simplification. We know actually um, F in terms of N, I mean mu, uh, mu and N, which is given by FC is equal to 0.3 NC because in our problem, the coefficient of friction is given as 0.3. Therefore, FC is equal to 0.3 times NC. Just substitute this in this equation, in the above equation, you will get NC sine 5 degrees, NC sine 5 degree. And uh, this here, it will become 0.3 NC sine 85. Okay. Plus 0.3 sin NC sine 85. And uh, send this 750 the other side. So it will become equal to 750. So here the only unknown is NC and upon simplification, because you can see all the four terms are in terms of NC. Therefore, if you calculate um, this one, so we'll get 0.77 NC is equal to 750. And uh, therefore, NC is equal to 971.46 Newton. Okay. Therefore, uh, we know that FC is equal to 0.3 times NC. Substituting this NC in this equation, you get FC is equal to 291.44 Newton. These are the forces acting, I mean, those are the reactions acting over here in at the wedge contact surfaces. Okay, and we know that actually the same forces will be acting on the wedge as well. I mean, uh, the uh, log as well, wooden log as well. So that is what it's being shown in this figure. As you can see, NC and FC are these values. NC is 971.46. And because the same forces will be acting on the, the, the log as well. So they are equal and opposite. So hence, these are the forces which are acting on the log. So NC is equal to 971.46 Newton and FC is equal to 291.44 Newton. Okay. That is the end of the problem. So uh, the purpose is served. We have found the, uh, the force acting on the wedge as I mean, uh, the, the log. Okay. So let us move on to the next problem. Our example number four, two granite blocks, 300 and 300 kilonewton each are pushed apart by a 15 degree wedge. This is the 15 degree wedge. It is being pushed away by 15 degree. These are the, these are the two um, 300 kilonewton blocks. Okay. And this weight of the wedge is negligible. The angle of limiting friction is 10 degree at all contact surfaces. It has been given that angle of limiting friction, which is nothing but alpha at all contact surfaces is equal to 10 degree. Determine the force P required to start the moment of the blocks. Okay. So we need to find the force P required to move these blocks. Okay. This is then another example. 
Now, uh, let us see how uh, the free body diagram will be developed. Now, as you can see, as the force P, I mean, is applied onto the wedge, so this wedge acts move, moves downwards. So the force on the wedge will be act, the frictional force will be acting upwards because all the uh, all the surface are uh, uh, the rough surfaces. So uh, this wedge will ex experience friction, which is acting upwards. So this FC and this FC will be acting upwards. And as usual, there will be normal reaction NC, which will be there, which is acting upwards or towards the body. Okay. <clears throat> And uh, relatively, the blocks are moving upwards. Therefore, the frictional force Fc, Fc, equal and opposite to the above frictional force will be acting downwards. Okay. And uh, same way, the normal reactions also, they will, be act, they will be acting towards the blocks. Okay. They are away from uh, the other uh, forces. You can see here. Let us separate those uh, bodies. Okay. Um, this is the wedge and as you can see as it down, moves downwards so the frictional force will be upwards and there will be normal reaction and the uh, and opposite to these frictional force there will be uh, these there will be other frictional force which are acting on the wedges i mean uh, the blocks which will be acting opposite to these uh, downwards okay and similarly uh, there will be nc opposite to this and uh, as usual there will be and there will be friction at uh, uh, this contact surface as well okay at the floor so since the blocks will be moving um, okay since the blocks this block um, right hand side blocks moves towards right left hand side block moves towards left so the uh, the friction force will be right side in the left hand left hand side block whereas uh, the friction force in the uh, the block right hand side block will be towards left like this okay so that is what is being uh, drawn here as well. It's separately, okay? And uh, there will be uh, weights acting downwards as in this case. So because of the symmetry, what we, uh, what we can do, we can consider one block as well as the wedge. Let us consider separately the free body diagram here. And uh, the free body diagram will be complete only when you have all the angles, okay? And uh, these angles are necessary to apply the equations of equilibrium. Now let us uh, I mean, develop some geometry, okay? Uh, draw a horizontal line here, okay? And uh, extend these inclined lines, okay? And you can see if uh, this is 7.5 degree, because the total angle is 15 degree, therefore half of the angle, it will become 7.5, 7.5, okay? And hence, uh, if this is 7.5, 90 minus 7.5, that this will become 82.5. Same way, this side as well. So if this is 82.5, we know from um, rectangle triangle, the remaining angle will be um, 7.5 degree. This side as well as this side, same will be here. And uh, to complete the free body diagram for uh, the block, so just extend the same line and draw a horizontal. And we know these are the same angle, okay? This is same angle and um, equal angle, so 7.5 degree. That completes the free body diagram. Now let us apply the equations of equilibrium uh, for the bodies and let us solve for the force P. Now which is the block uh, or which is the body we should consider first uh, for applying equation of equilibrium. So that depends upon the, the number of forces which are there, okay? So if you consider the wedge, number of forces which are unknown are Okay, P, F, C, N, C. Okay, now there are two forces. Uh, therefore, um, you know, you cannot uh, find uh, these forces. So what we can do, you can uh, uh, consider uh, the other uh, body, which is nothing but the block. So where the unknowns are uh, N, C and uh, N, F, or F, 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 F and uh, F, C. Okay, you can consider this and uh, we can apply the uh, equations of equilibrium and uh, solve for P. Apply the equations of equilibrium to block first now. And uh, we know that uh, the uh, alpha is uh, 10 degree. So mu value will be equal to uh, 0.1763. Uh, now let us apply sigma fx is equal to zero. If you apply sigma fx is equal to zero, you can see NC's horizontal component will be acting towards left. So negative. 
Next, another FC. FC will be acting towards right, the horizontal component. So, plus FC cos 82.5. And FF will be acting towards right. So, plus, right? And upon simplification, you will get the value of NC is equal to 0.1737 FNF. Next, let us apply sigma FY is equal to 0. So, here NF is acting upward. So, plus next the uh, the vertical component of nc is acting downward so minus nc sin 7.5 because the nc is making an angle of uh, only 7.5 degree next the other force which is there is uh, the fc vertical component of fc the vertical component of fc is acting downward so negative minus fc sin 82.5 the angle is angle made by fc is 82.5 hence it is minus fc sin 82.5 so the remaining one more force, which is nothing but the weight of the block that will be acting downward. So minus 300. Next, upon uh, we know uh, substituting FCs in terms of N, uh, Fs in terms of Ns, that's nothing but FC is equal to mu times NC. And uh, substituting all other um, NC value equal to 0 0.176, 1737 NF. So in this equation, here nc has been substituted with the 0.1737 nf and then here fc is equal to mu times nc the next step in 0.1763 nf sin 7.5 and minus mu times uh, nc value again substituted 1737 nf sin 82.5 minus 300 so next um, in this equation the only unknown is nf so upon simplification of uh, uh, this, you can you will get 0.946 NF is equal to 300. Then NF is equal to 316.9 kilonewton. And uh, substituting the value of NF in the above equation, you will get NC is equal to 0.1737 times uh, NF, which is equal to uh, this. NC is equal to 55.04 kilonewton okay next with the values of nf and nc uh, let us uh, consider the wedge now and we have uh, we know the value of uh, um, sigma fx apply if you apply sigma fx is equal to zero nc component acts downward or right side so positive nc cast 7.5 and then another nc acts towards left so negative nc cast 7.5 minus fc left hand side uh, will act towards left and uh, the right hand side fc will act towards right so plus fc cos 82.5 and because they are equal and opposite they will cancel one another so all terms will be get cancelled next let us apply sigma fi is equal to zero if you apply sigma fi is equal to zero one force is nc sin 7.5 acting upwards so plus next Another NC uh, sin 7.5 is also acting upwards. So plus, and then FC component of one component is acting upwards. The other uh, uh, FC sin 82.5 is also acting upwards. So positive up plus. And the last but not the least, P, the force P is acting downwards. So which you should not forget that. So minus P is equal to zero. And in this equation, we have all of all the values except this p so nc value we have fc value we have so substituting this uh, we will be getting uh, and we we know fc is equal to 0.1763 nc and all that if you substitute uh, here in this above equation so what we have done uh, we have replaced this uh, fc with uh, 0.1763 nc therefore um, upon simplification we will get uh, P is equal to 33.73 kilonewton. That is, if you wanted to uh, move two blocks of 300 kilonewton uh, away from one another, so you need to apply a force of 33.73 kilonewton. Okay, so that's the end of the. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Press bell button for latest updates.